Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Corey here. I am coming to you from Phong Hoa Tham Street in Hanoi, Vietnam. And this is a place I wanted to show you guys. If you follow my Instagram, I took a picture of a bunch of shops that were selling like furniture. And uh, that's why I wanted to show you this street because this street has a ton of furniture and it also has a lot of greenery, um, like nurseries and stuff like that. As you can see, they're selling uh, lots of different flowers and herbs and all kinds of like household plants and whatever. Uh, there's also a lot of bird cages, uh, fish tanks, um, all kinds of stuff down this street. But this street's really pretty. It's actually lined by a lot of trees. So there's a canopy and a lot of shade and a lot of cool fresh air. So let's go walk down and see what it looks like. Yeah, so you'll see a lot of um, vendors selling greenery stuff. And people just pull up on mopeds, buy a tree, put it on the moped, and then go home. Wow. Just stepping onto this street, it's like already five degrees cooler. Nice lush trees. So if we look around, there's stuff related to gardening. So there's like a lot of uh, flower pots and soil and stuff like that. I need to get some of these for my house. Yeah. There's also a lot of art, like traditional kind of stuff. Stuff related to altars. Yeah, you can see some of the fish tanks here. So Hanoi, like many older Asian cities, has a lot of areas that focus primarily on like one or two kind of things. So like if you wanted to buy a sofa, then you would just go to the street where all the sofas are. If you wanted to buy electronics, you go to the street where all the electronics are. Um, from what I've read, this place was mainly like fish and like pets and art. And then maybe within the last decade or two, that's when the furniture stuff started coming along. Hi, puppy. Okay, you can see this is like hand, all hand-carved furniture. Yeah, all the wood here is hand-carved and very beautiful. This looks like uh, different types of pots, flower pots. Across the street, you can see uh, art, some paintings. There's some galleries and stuff around here too. Here's a shop that sells like jade and other kind of carved things. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. There's a lot of flowers, and then you could feel what I'm feeling. There's a very nice, cool breeze coming right down this corridor. So this street actually runs parallel to my street. I live one street over. And I read that this street was the perimeter of the wall of the old ancient uh, capital. I forget which dynasty, but there was a there was kind of like a wall to protect the palace or something like that. And that wall used to be where this street is now. <coughs> and I'm like. Trying not to get hit here. Let's look at some more greenery. Some really beautiful plants. Many I've never even seen before. shop that sells uh, statues and other things. A lot of 
bird cages here. A lot of um, ceramics here too. I heard it's imported from Japan and China, but there are a few that are actually made here um, near Hanoi, like maybe 20 kilometers away, and then it's brought in to this street area. Yeah, so here's some different types of birds and chickens. So for those of you who are concerned about animal rights and stuff, as I am, uh, we probably all agree that a lot of these animals come from farms, breeding farms and that kind of stuff. And, you know, I don't support it. I'm never going to buy an animal or a pet here, but uh, it is a fact of life here in Vietnam to see these kind of things. It's one of those like cultural uh, things, you know? It's just that's what the people have been doing here for hundreds and hundreds of years. I wish I knew more about like regulations and stuff. Yeah, so what's also cool besides um, stores selling plants, there's also, you see like motorcycles and bicycles that come up and just park on the side of the street selling flowers and chili peppers and all kinds of stuff. Whoa. It's like a turkey. The street is not like super, super long. I mean, it is long, but the, the section where there's all the stuff, the bird cages and fish tanks and flowers and stuff is uh, just like kind of like one section of this street. Not super long. I could walk it in like 10 minutes or something. city. Some more birds and stuff. Here's a lot of different fish. There's like beta fish, goldfish. Uh, different types of like organic dried wood, organic shapes. It's cool, you can make some stuff with that. That's a bus stop. You can see behind the bus stop and next to it, there's a lot of uh, 
plants also being sold. Alright, there are animals here, guys. Poor puppies. Oh my god, they look so cute. I wish I could save you all. So I'm noticing as I walk around and explore Hanoi that there are a lot of different streets that specialize in different things. Um, very similar to Seoul. Like the other day, I was walking through an area and it was all karaoke machines and stuff like that. It was like the street, it was just like all karaoke. Uh, pretty crazy. Wow, that guy had a lot of stuff. Okay, maybe I'll cross the street. Yeah, here we go. This is how you do it. You just go, <laughs> and you don't stop. Very beautiful. <laughs> so you see there's all types of like functional furniture made from wood and then there's also more like spiritual related like shrines and altars and stuff or for um, like ceremonies and whatnot. So you get a variety of different things all hand carved. there's not so much greenery stuff going on over in this area. It's like some regular shops, but there's a lot of furniture and paintings and wood carvings. with the button pressed the entire time. It's crazy. Yeah, so 
this uh, tall building here. I think it belongs to a bank or something. Oh yeah, Exim Bank. Uh, my house is on the other side of it. Very close to home. There's actually a, a side street up here on the left that cuts through the neighborhood and it goes right behind my building. Hello. So it's Hello. a nice shortcut. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna cross the street again. Some shops up here that I definitely wanted to show you. They do um, like automotive repair for mopeds, and they also customize like exhaust pipes, the mufflers, some shocks. This is one of the few walking videos I've ever done where I just walked a straight line. I didn't go down any alleys and get lost. So if I keep going straight, there's going to be more furniture shops on the right side. On the left is just like normal shops and restaurants. So, and that's pretty much the end of it. And then I took my Instagram photo up ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take that little back alley and I'm going to go home. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is it right here. I just follow this along, it goes right to my uh, home, home area. Notice the difference, how loud it is out in the street. And as soon as you step away into these little side streets, it's just so quiet. So I have to hopefully remember that I'm walking in the right direction. Here we go. If you guys saw my other walking video, balconies so close to each other. Like literally touching in some places. Oh. Can I go this way? Can I go this way? Is it okay? Come on. So actually my apartment is not this white one, but the one next to it, where they're doing the road. But this is what this canal looks like. And then eventually they're gonna dredge this out and cover this and turn this into a road. This will all be a road at some point. Right now it looks like they're dredging, or setting up, getting ready to dredge. Yeah, not, not the nicest thing to see <laughs> um, near your house. But I'm glad that they're actually doing something about it. It's just gonna take some time. 
right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave any comments or questions down below. This is just a quick little walk around video for you guys from here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Check me out on Patreon, all that other stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.